Welcome back, my beauty squad. If you're new, it's your girl Jessica. And learners are first here to decide. So if y'all here, that's, that's what y'all here. But we get to play with some makeup. We get to play with makeup. We get to play with makeup. Yay! I am trying that other than Black Mood Cosmetics for the first time ever. And boy, oh boy. I do have a full face of basically new products. I tried the KVD Good Apple Foundation, Tatcha Powder, all the good goodies that I've required over the couple of weeks. So make sure you stay tuned to see how my final thoughts. If this is your first time for you coming to my channel, welcome to the Beauty Squad officially. I hope you enjoy my content. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn this bell right here on. I ain't gonna keep it too long because I know she's like rambling in the back. So I will see y'all in the video. Bye. Oh, yeah. Bring you home. Yeah, come on. Hey, my beauty squad. So, guess what? We have some baby spit right here. Look, I got I finally went and got my nails done. Finally. After I found an epic press on nails, of course. I just went ahead and got my nails done for the spring. I absolutely love the glitter because this one has like stars and this one has butterflies in it. I don't know if y'all can see it. I do have like a little close up to them on my shorts. But this ain't about my nails today. We are doing full face of new makeup. But my main highlight is trying this bad boy right here out. The Urban Mess by Black Moon Cosmetics. I'm so excited. I haven't even swatched this bad boy. So I will go off real quick, do my face, come back, kind of talk about what I think about all the things I have on my face, and then jump into that palette and do that badass look with that palette because I just know it's going to perform like no other. I am going to be trying the Kat Von D Good Apple that TikTok is raving about. I have some Tatcha, the Silk Powder. I have quite a few goodies over here, but we'll chit chat about that whenever I'm doing my eye look so we're not holding up too much time. See okay guys, I'm back. So, first things first is I don't know how I feel about this primer. This is the It Primer Oil Free Makeup Grip Base and Pull Refiner. It's a mist. I'm not too crazy about just this. Like, with um, soap to lay on my face, maybe. But, like, I just, I'm not a mist person. Like, I feel like I have to have more coverage than just a mist. You know what I mean? Like, I just, that's how I feel. So, we'll see. After everything said and done, I only use this. Well, I use that and this for my primer. Sighted, right? Then I went in with a KBD Good Apple. Let me just tell you, you have to be very light-handed with this bad boy because I took my sponge and I literally went, ch -ch, it went like this, and I mean, I blurred out my life. Like... I had to literally come from this side and smear it all over my face. So be careful if you get this and you go in and you think it, it's just like any other foundation and you're just like. <laughs> so, very full coverage, very little bit needed. So I like that. Not sure how I like about the tone, but it, I mean, it is what it is. That's all I can get. I went in with the Tatcha, the Silk Powder. I don't see nothing remarkable about it. It feels like just everyday powder to me. When I go out and spend what I spent for it. Know that now? No. I forgot to use concealer because I was in such a hurry to get a hold of this bad boy right here. So we're just going to go ahead and skip to it. I did get some BH Cosmetics brushes. These were on sale for 13 bucks. They might still be on sale. It's the Midnight Festival brush set. I want to go check because I want to go get another one for my subscriber. But look at this little caddy. And then look at all the cool brushes you get for 13 bucks. Great deal, right? 
And it actually came really fast this time. I know I said last time I won't order for BH no more, but I had to, y'all. Like, I had to. They had the BFF palette, and I needed it in my life terribly. But look at these colors. 13 bucks. Make sure, oh, this would be the perfect concealer. Like a good dense concealer brush. Sorry, I'll show the noisy. I should have done this like beforehand, right? I'm out of it. Well, like I said, I was super excited. So I got my MMs and I got my BH brushes. Well, let's get to this stuff. Let me not forget my primer. Lord help me. Getting ahead of myself. Oh, I did use the Kylie blush and bronzer. I love these. And even so much more because I got them for like eight bucks a piece. That's pastel. That's pastel. I'm gonna go in with wood because I don't want it too light right now. Because I don't know what kind of look I'm doing. I'm just gonna wig it. This is the P. Louise. This is the first time we ever use it, any P. Louise. So we'll see how how good this is. Because I've heard so many good things about P. Louise base. It's through, you know, Bubba Mitchell. And I'm telling y'all, that palette I got, Bubba Mitchell, is fire. So if... You are looking for a beautiful, very good, blendable palette. I highly, highly recommend that one. She is a little pricey because it is coming from the UK. But I'm telling you, those... I've only tried the Head of the Cloud palette so far. So I cannot speak on the other one yet. Treat on the ground. But I, I already, like, the formula is there, y'all. I have it... At my top of my little palettes, must use palettes right here that I keep beside me. So I try to keep everything or somewhat organized in this cabinet. Like, look at this. Obsessed. Like I said, I want to do something really simply. <laughs> we say this and then we're going to go ahead, right? Alright, so you set up a brush. Let's pull a moth bed first. Just to kind of Lay that base down, be I didn't set this primer. I do. Well, you'll probably be seeing this look in another video. You'll probably see the other video before you see this video. Because Mario finally got me a camera. Let me rephrase that. Mario got me a camera, not finally. Because I'm just scared to get a camera. He's been wanting me to invest in a camera, and he has so much so much faith in my channel, y'all. Like, it is unreal how much love this man has for me, and I'm so freaking blessed. All right, I'm going to go with crop circles just because I want to try that green out. <sighs> Look at the shade, though. Like, so much love and faith in me. And he's like, babe, I believe in your channel. I know you're going to do great things. You deserve it. Let's get it. So, a little backstory about that. You'll hear the same story in that unboxing of my new camera because I got it yesterday. But we went to Walmart and they had a Canon. This is a power shot. So, uh, I can't remember, but it was like SX540. That was like the numbers of it. Well,. I did do no history like I should have done. And I told him I wanted to, but we kind of like just jumped into it. And it was like, whatever, you know, I'll figure it out afterwards. First starter camera, it, you know, it has, anything's better than nothing. Well, it don't have an adapter for the microphone. It was Wi-Fi compatible, and it didn't have a flip screen that to me is like a must. Just because I've been so long, you like see it. My screen, I don't know how I would act not seeing my screen. 
I don't want to put myself through that right now. Because, <laughs> you know, I'm still, I'm still learning. I'm still growing. I'm still all of it. Like, I'm not perfect by no means. Y'all, can we just take a second? Look how well this is blended. I'm shook. I'm shook. I'm going to go back in with Mothman. Using that same brush. Like, I haven't picked up no other brush. Because this brush is just so awesome. Like, this brush is really soft, so blendable, and I just can't believe it was only 13 bucks. Alright, so yeah, that's beautiful. I want to do something because I want to swatch some of these shades first. Oh, oh yeah. Like, y'all. Yeah. Open. Look at this. Do y'all see that? Like, do y'all see that? Look how I see those are. That is beautiful. And I didn't take this through because I didn't have a makeup wipe. Ready. Oh, wow. Like. Like, all I can say is, oh, wow. All right, so I do want to cut my crease with zero, the white base, because I want to see how well these lay on a wet base. I think this might be, like, the best option. Ooh, that's white. Where is flat brush? We don't want to lose hair. Don't come back sitting here like that. I am filming. Out. Yeah, I'm about ready to knock my head out. Like he literally walks in and he's just like, I got the side out my door. Like, read it, boy. It's really what boy reads. A side on their mama's door. I refer to that with child. Right? Right? Come on, mama, am I right? I will go ahead and cut this crease as well, but I got it right here. Let's just go ahead and get her done. I don't think I picked the best brush for this. But we're here. We're already at this moment. This is actually like a lighter brush. That's why I thought it would be kind of good. To get that loud right up in there. But it's just not wanting to really lid that product on my lid like I wanted it to. But it's okay. Yeah, I did go over just a little bit, so let's play that back out. Just too hot. Just a smidge too hot. Alright, so let me find me a good flat brush to pack this pigment on because... I want to do that blue. I want to do this blue. For some reason, I wanted that green, but now I want this blue. Oh, my. Y'all see that? And I didn't even wet the brush. I was just straight on the brush. And this is my Morphe M124. If anyone's bordered. Ooh. 
Wow. She is so icy. Like, look at that. Now, I didn't get me some pastel base for P. Louise. I got the purple one and the mint green one. Oh, I can't wait to put them those. I, I cannot wait. And I've been so out of it. I haven't even played in makeup in so long. That's why I was so excited to tip into this palette. I'm like, first, first things first. Like, let's get it. I went in with that Boogie Man shade. Just to darken up that outside and bring it up just a little bit. And I'm going to flick her out. Just so you can see that green. I don't want that blue taken away from that green. Because they are absolutely beautiful. Oh, yes. Now, what I want to do is underneath, I want to put this purple. This purple is called my name. It's called Triple Cover. But what I'm going to do is put that dark purple right here. And then I'm going to put that icy purple in the middle. Like in the end corner. Pop it out just a little bit. Sorry if y'all hear my yogas. They must have done come in from being outside. They were out, all outside playing. But for some reason or another, like, North Carolina had so much beautiful weather the past week or so. Like, so pretty. I've got so many beautiful flowers planted. And then somebody shot the memo up this way, like, what? North Carolina with pretty weather? Unheard of. No, y'all not getting it. So now we got freezing cold weather. Like, it's been so cold. And I put in this. That, that's not really showing up. So let's go over area one. There we go. I want the icy pop. Like, when I first saw this palette. Okay, when I first saw this palette, first of all, I wanted it. I like my bright colors, but at heart, I am a grungy girl. Like, I love black clothes. I like the, the goth look. I mean, as you can tell, like, with my jewelry and stuff. I do. I do love it. I think it's so beautiful. But, I do like my colors. So, I was like, what can I really do with this palette right now? Because it's, like, really grungy. But, when you actually look at it, a little closer. Yes, it is still grudgy, but you could do so much with this palette. Like, so much. And I'm just using Area 51 to grab the top of that brow bone. Well, underneath that brow bone. Just to give her a little bit of spice up there. So, I know this is already a long, so I'm going to jump off real fast, finish everything up, and come right back. We're going to go over my final thoughts. And we're back, uh. as we, <laughs> she had to come join Bobby. But, this is the finished look. A couple things did happen off camera. Um, uh. These right here are multi-purpose uh, items I got off of Black Mood. They said they're safe for your eyes, lips, face, body, whatever. Once they dry down, they stay, and they're absolutely gorgeous. Like, as you can tell, I am obsessed with this green one. So, what I did was, I went in with just a regular liner pencil, and I swatched them on my hand, just like this. But, look at that pigment. Oh, she wants me to swatch on hers. She's just like mama. Let it dry. And then, let me show you this blue one. This blue one, ha it takes a little bit more. Just because the dofa, like, you don't pick up a lot. But once it gets to that capacity, that is like, oh. I do have that blue one on my lips. Like, the slightest little bit on my lips. But this, this is called slob. 
And this one is Moon Chopper, the blue one. Obsessed. If you do not want to grab this palette after my review, okay. If you already have these colors, okay. But if you are looking for a multi-use item that you could use as a lighter, that you could use as a lip product, and you could use as a highlighter, like, hold, let me just show you all, like, what I'm talking about. So you put that on there. You do. Hold on, little stop. If you want to blend it out, you do have to be quick about it. But look, like, oh, obsessed. Do favorite items of the day. I got them over there. Stop, Jasmine. You gonna go to Jasmine? Let's stop. But yeah, I went in a little right there and then a little wig. I put purple, purple underneath my eye. She likes her butt whoop, y'all. <laughs> I used my Urban Decay mascara along with my Dragon Beauty mascara. Perfect little duo. Hey, y'all, she's gonna be two, two Friday. Where does the top go? I have my BH Jib Jib on. They're not in the same place like they should be. But I have long nails so it's hard to place them where I wanted them. And then like I said, she come in to say hi to everyone. She wouldn't leave my door site and my eleven year old let her in. And once you let her in, you're not getting her out. <laughs> not gonna happen, Captain. But I was just like, I was like, why? Why why did you know who she was holding in? I was like, okay, but whenever I say she can come in, that's whenever I let her come in. Not before. But in recap, beautiful brand. Absolutely loved how they work. I I loved how they blended. They were so easy to use. Like super, super easy to do this look. I don't know why I waited this long to try them. I can't wait to get more. If that says anything for this brand, like I cannot wait. Obsessed. I do have LED lights. I don't know if y'all can see them. I know you can see them like in my mirror right there. They're all around this room. So whenever this light gets cut off and my other light gets cut off, it looks really pretty in here. And I plan on doing some epic LED looks. And I've got my makeup and burner and liners. Not liners, they're uh, loose pigments, but I can turn them into liners. Can't wait. Can't wait. So stay tuned for that. Stop. Um, I'm, I'm really feeling this look. I don't, it might not be everybody's cup of tea, but like, I like it. I like doing more out, outgoing looks here lately. Hush. So silly. But y'all, snake peek. This is my camera that I got. Oh I uh, hope y'all see this video. Uh, y'all see this video before y'all see this video. You'll see this look twice. Um, I'm not taking it all the way off just to film. But I love y'all. Thank y'all all that are here. That's been with me for a while. Thank y'all all that have been. That's just started. That just joined the beauty squad. Welcome with open arms. Any request. Do not hesitate to ask. I absolutely love doing looks and inspire videos for my subscribers, especially because it makes it as a goal. Like any brand y'all want me to try, make sure you let me know down below. And of course, I love y'all. I will see y'all in my next video. Until the end.